In this screencast, uh, we'll uh, uh, talk about uh, stored SQLite procedures and we'll, uh, on Android, and uh, we'll uh, start with um, application uh, demo. So we'll um, uh, search a simple database of uh, famous mathematicians um, uh, by uh, research area and by country. So let's say if we select a uh, research area, so uh, and we uh, one of the algebraists in our database. Well, the only one is Muhammad ibn uh, Al Khwarizmi, and um, uh, we uh, can go to um, his uh, wiki. And uh, let's search astronomy. Uh, so we have uh, uh, Johannes Kepler, uh, a German astronomer, and this is um, his uh, wiki uh, page. And um, also uh, there will be. Uh, famous uh, uh, Polish astronomer uh, uh, Nicolaus uh, Copernicus. Uh, we can go and uh, take a look at uh, his wiki site. So, uh, what's a stored SQLite procedure? It's a piece of code uh, that um, uh, formalizes um, a standard interaction that we interact with a specific database. So, we know that we're going to run uh, some query over and over again and uh, we uh, code it up. So we can also search um, by country. So if we select Poland, then uh, Nicolaus uh, Copernicus um, uh, comes up. And in France, uh, we have Blaise Pascal. OK, so we'll uh, code up uh, our, specify our database uh, via XML uh, in strings.xml in our project. Uh, do we have to do it? That No, that simplifies uh, simply our program. So um, this is the schema for the mathematician table, the only table in our database. It has ID, primary key, first name, last name, birth year, death year, research area, country, and uh, wiki. And this is... Um, the bar separated, uh, two, uh, two uh, uh, bar separated entries for Muhammad al Khwarizmi and Nicolaus Copernicus. And this is the string array that defines each row in our table in XML, um, so uh, semicolon separated. This uh, specification can be created dynamically from some website or it can also be stored in the cloud. Uh, another simplification that we're going to make in this application is uh, that we're going to uh, do uh, the database interaction and uh, population uh, insertion of records, in other words, uh, on the main thread. Uh, so. Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, in a in a production uh, version of uh, uh, this application or a similar application, we would uh, do it via threads and services. Uh, okay, uh, so we'll uh, do um, uh, object-oriented modeling and implement uh, the mathematician class. We've implemented several versions of, of this uh, class. So first name, last name, birth year, death year, research area, country, and uh, wiki URL. So um, each uh, member variable reflects the column uh, in our uh, SQLite uh, database. And there's a standard construction uh, constructor and then uh, a bunch of getters. Um, so, um, so how do we interact with our SQLite uh, database? Uh, we're going to uh, uh, implement uh, an adapter. Um, so this is the name of our database, math underscore info db, and it has only one table, mathematician. Uh, then we're going to publish uh, static final uh, string constants, um, uh, eight, uh, one for every uh, column name. And we're also uh, going to publish their numbers, um, uh, also a static uh, uh, final integer uh, 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 variables or constants. Then we're going to implement insert unique mathematician that takes a mathematician object and uses the Android content API content values um, uh, class to construct content values object populate it with uh, key value pairs mapping columns and uh, uh, value values for those columns. Uh, we uh, query our database um, uh, for a specific mathematician on the last name uh, and uh, return the cursor object. If the cursor is empty, then we're going to insert uh, a mathematician record into the uh, database. Um, and uh, we're going to log uh, 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 the result that we have inserted, successfully inserted mathematician, and return the inserted row index. 
Uh, another um, a method that uh, we will implement, uh, and by the way, the description of this video will contain a link to the source code of this project so that we can, you can retrieve it and uh, uh, play with it. Uh, we're going to retrieve mathematician by research area, take the string, uh, specification of the research area that we get from uh, the list view, uh, uh, as was shown in the demo. Uh, we're going to query uh, the database by the research area uh, table column projections uh, and uh, the mathematician column name will be specified in the where clause uh, um, a research area column name will be specified the value of that uh, uh, will be specified in the where clause and then we convert all of the uh, column and value pairs into a, uh, a string via the string builder and we're going to do the same thing with the uh, uh, retrieved mathematician by country. So first we query the database, then we um, uh, define a stream builder, and then uh, convert all of the uh, column uh, value pairs into um, uh, into strings, put them under the stream builder, and uh, uh, convert the stream bu uh, builder into a string. So uh, how do we populate SQLite database? Again, it's done on the main thread, and it's a limitation, but it simplifies uh, uh, makes the implementation simpler. Uh, just to illustrate the point, is the point of this uh, uh, screencast is uh, um, uh, stored SQLite procedures, writing uh, writing them in Java. Um, so uh, there's a uh, uh, we're gonna get that string array from the uh, string dot XML in our project. Uh, get XML table specs can actually go online and retrieve that array. Uh, from some uh, uh, online uh, resource. Um, uh, okay, so but we're just going to go locally and retrieve that array. Uh, so return the array of strings. And uh, uh, then once we have that array of strings, uh, we're just going to go uh, through uh, each string, trim it, uh, split it on the XML entry separator, which is set to semicolons and uh, uh, create uh, a mathematician object um, uh, from uh, our split. And create a mathematician object is uh, pretty straightforward. Just create a new mathematician object uh, with the appropriate uh, arguments. Okay, so and finally, this is the main activity, stored SQLite query act. Um, that's the main uh, activity of our application. Um, so in here, we just populate uh, math info DB first, and then uh, this is what defines actually the, um, the menu option. So the uh, when the research when the user selects um, uh, uh, search by a research area, then we start uh, the research area activity. We just query by research areas, and if the user wants to search by country, uh, we start uh, search by country activity. Right, right here. So, this is where we call uh, the database adapter methods routine mathematician by research area, and uh, it's in the query results uh, activity. We display the query results. Okay, that's all there is to it.